I'm Dave Prouse with the Tech Question of the Day for Tuesday, March 28th, 2017, and it's on the topic of access control lists, or ACLs. And let's look at the question now. You are tasked with blocking both DNS requests and zone transfers coming from outside IP addresses. Your organization uses a firewall configured with an implicit allow and also the following ACL is applied to its external interface. And here's the ACL and two lines. Now, which of the following solutions would accomplish your task? And select the two best answers from the following. A, apply the current ACL to all interfaces of the firewall. B, add the following ACL to the bottom of the current ACL. And there's the ACL that you would add. C, add the following ACL to the bottom of the current ACL. And you can see the ACL there. D, remove the current ACL. E, add the following ACL to the top of the current ACL. And F, change the firewall default settings so that it implements an implicit deny. So take a look at those answers. You want the two best answers. And I'll give you a moment to pause the video, and I'll be back with the answers in just a bit. Okay, and so the best answers listed are going to be B and F. B, add the following ACL to the bottom of the current ACL, deny IP any any 53, and F, change the firewall default settings so that it implements an implicit deny. Okay, and let's take a look here. Let's illustrate a little bit. Here we have the LAN. So we have our computers and our users on the LAN. Here's our firewall, and here we have the internet, the cloud. And so, when you're talking about the firewall, you talk about the internal interface and the external interface. Well, the external interface is on this side. External, that goes out to the cloud. That's the outside interface, the external interface, the uh, internet-facing interface, right? And on this side, we have the internal. That's connecting out to the LAN. And that could also be known as the LAN interface or the Ethernet interface. You know, you might have different names with this. And, you know, you might also hear the terms in front of or behind the firewall. Well, in front of would be here on your side. Because you're considering yourself normally, if you're on the LAN, you'd say, okay, well, in front of would be here. If you're on the LAN, behind the firewall would be over here, beyond the external interface. But that really depends on your perspective. It's better to use internal and external or inside and outside. So we need that terminology first. Now let's bring the question back up and the answers with the correct answers. Let's talk about the question, the correct answers, and the incorrect answers. Now it says you are tasked with blocking both DNS requests, right? DNS requests and zone transfers, DNS zone transfers. So we know we're talking about port 53 here. And what we're interested in is outside IP addresses. So external over here, users out on the internet. You want to block servers and users and everybody on the internet from being able to do DNS requests and zone transfers through your firewall. Now, the, your organization uses a firewall configured with an implicit allow, yikes, well, that means uh, implicitly everything is allowed through the firewall. That's probably not a good idea. And normally you wouldn't do that. And so that kind of leads us to one of the correct answers. But also the following ACL is applied. We have permit TCP, any, any, which means uh, inbound and outbound IP addresses on 80. So that's HTTP and permit TCP, any, any 443. So HTTPS. So it looks like we're running a web server. Most likely users are coming in through a firewall and connecting to a web server somewhere. 
you know, it could be on the internal inf interface, but better yet, it would be on a third interface. Let's say this was a three leg setup and it would be a DMZ, a demilitarized zone, and you'd have a uh, web server over here. Most likely. You don't know, but that's one way to do it. So we look at the question, we look at key phrases, we look at the current ACL, and then we say, okay, which of the following works? Well, let's look at answer B. Add the following ACL to the bottom of the current ACL. That means we would add it over here at the bottom, which is important. Um, and it says here, deny IP any, any 53. So on the IP side of things, we're going to deny DNS. We're going to deny anything going through port 53 on IP. And that's going to be for any IP addresses. Okay, now we could have also said TCP. Most likely I would do this as IP because it's DNS. But we could have also said D TCP. The problem with this answer is it's adding that following ACL to the top. Okay, we want this to be on the bottom. Uh, if we were to deny that at the top and then have a permit underneath that, we could have some issues. Uh, also, we have that implicit allow. So normally we would put this at the bottom and I would want it to, I would want to do it as an IP. And uh, so that's going to be a good answer here. Deny IP any, any 53. And so here port 53 is going to be blocked, but really, uh, we have an implicit allow and we have a permission for HTTP and HTTPS, which, you know, if we have an implicit allow, then the permission isn't really necessary. And so F becomes a very good answer. Change the firewall default settings so that it implements an implicit deny so that everything's denied by default. So nobody can get through to anything except for what you allow. And once we do that, you know, it's a regular firewall. And most firewalls are configured in such a way where they are implicitly denying all traffic. So that's the best way to do that, to be honest with you. And then you would have this ACL for HTTP and HTTPS. This way, everything is denied except for HTTP on 80 and HTTPS on 443, allowing users to connect to uh, the web server or whatever. So 53, that's denied. 80 and 443, that's allowed. So that's why B and F are going to be the best answers here. Now let's take a look at the other answers. A says, apply the current ACL to all interfaces of the firewall. Well, I mean, it doesn't really do anything because we have an implicit allow anyway, and we're just permitting something that's implicitly allowed anyway on the firewall. So applying that to other interfaces really makes no difference. We want to block, you know, the task here is to block DNS requests and zone transfers from outside IP addresses from over here at the cloud. So it's important that we deal with the outside interface, the external interface. Applying the current ACL to all the rest of the interfaces doesn't really make a difference. So that's no good. C said, add the following ACL to the bottom of the current ACL. And that's where we would normally want to add it to the bottom here on the end. It says deny and everything looks good except, oh, it's not IP, it's ICMP. ICMP echoes meaning ping. And, you know, that's not going to work with, I mean, you can do ICMP echoes on different ports, but normally 53 means DNS. You know, and you would set that up as IP or TCP, most likely IP. So ICMP, that's no good. That's just testing traffic. That's, you know, if you ever do a ping, it's doing ICMP echoes back and forth. Remove the current. So uh, C is also out. A and C, no good. Uh, D says remove the current ACL. Well, this is dealing with HTTP and it's a permission. It's an allow permission. So... You know, removing that, again, really isn't going to do anything for us because we're dealing with DNS requests with port 53. Removing that would stop users from connecting to our web servers, which we want, you know, uh, except that we have this implicit allow anyway. So we really want to get rid of that. You know, that's the first thing we want to do. So remove the current ACL. That's not going to help us. That's not going to fix the problem for us. And then E, add the following ACL to the top of the current ACL, as I mentioned uh, you probably use IC, IP, not TCP. 
But even if you did, you wouldn't want this at the top because you might have some issues with that. You'd want to add that to the bottom. But the best way is going to be IP on port 53. So, you know, keep in mind a couple things. Uh, ACLs, they may be written, written differently on different types of routers from different brands. Uh, and also you might do it in more of a GUI format if you're dealing with a Soho router. But the concept remains the same. You want to know your internals, your external. You want to know the interfaces inside and outside and the IP addresses that they use and create ACLs based off, based off of what traffic you want internally and from the internet. So that's it for the tech question of the day. I'm Dave Prouse. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to contact me at davidlprouse.com.